Hello, survivor. Hello there. You live here? Are you from around? I do. I'm from uh, the town of... Fuck you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, look at this school. Or whatever this thing is. This is cool. Okay, so let me take you back some months to the first time I entered the dangerous zone that is known as Pripyat. This story all starts off with my cousin Johnny and I exploring a new land that we didn't really know much about, and well, things don't exactly go to plan. So I'm not going to say too much, let's just pick things up as we try to get some gear. Let's see where we are first off. Open up your Android. So here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I've seen many shows about Chernobyl, and if we go in there, we're going to get f***ed by the radiation. But maybe it's not radiated on you. I think it's definitely gonna be radiated, but let's let's go find out. I've seen many YouTube adventure videos where people go in there without radiation suits. No, oh, they don't go into the reactor though. They go near it. They go to Pripyat, which is where we are now. I know that. Let's just say I'm somewhat of a historian. <gasps> Thought it was a guy for a second. We have some peaches and some rags. Yeah, go ahead and don't use those. <laughs> I already, I combined them with mine. It's too late, man. Oh, there's a bunch, dude. Run, 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 run. Oh! Run, run, run. It's not unlimited stam either. We gotta get inside. Get my ass beat. These things are tanky, bud. I don't think we even have a chance fighting them. More are coming. Uh oh. If you open your iPad, there is a place to the right called the Brain Scorcher. It's green. May very well be a military zone. That is true. Seeing a robotic zombie? Oh, what the? That's a blaster. Yeah. I told you this is the right place to be. Oh my. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. What the f is that? Boy, put that on. It's like a little uh, rig. All right, got you some. What you got, Chief? If you're trolling, man. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a sausage. I know you like sausage. Look at this view. Oh, oh, Zooey Mama. AK with a mag. Yeah, I'll be taking that. We looted around for a while and we came out with some pretty decent equipment and guns and now it was time to head east towards the power plant to see what was inside. Uh. You understand Spanish, buddy? No. <laughs> is that Spanish or is it Portuguese? Una explosion. I guess reactor four went off, yeah. I don't even know where reactor four is. I had mention of the power plant. Yeah, we'd be at the power plant. So we're kind of far. It turned out that the server we joined was in Spanish, and although we don't speak the language, we knew enough of what we read to understand that something bad had happened at the Chernobyl Reactor Plant 4. We were still pretty new to the server and we didn't have the right equipment to even head into any radiation zones, so we decided against it and you turned back to the city. And on the way there, we found something that would turn out to be very important. Is that a base? There's a base up there, Chief. My mark. Those tents? Yeah, yeah, a lot too. Oh yeah, there's four, five car tents. And a canopy tent on that one? Yeah. It's gotta be a base, I feel like. Go see if we can get some gear. <laughs> Let's go meet the locals. See what this place is about. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any talking. This one's blocked off at a wall. What is it, vanilla building? No, it's base one plus. Okay. They might all be blocked off then. Yeah, most likely. But let's look for another way around. I'm guessing they just did the same to every single apartment then. Yeah, that one's blocked. Check this last one though. Yep, it has a wall on the first floor. Wait, <laughs> these guys are idiots. There's an elevator right here. I mean, there's a ladder right here. Can't this bypass this wall? Oh, wait, what? Am I, am I being dumb here or? No way. 
guess we just gotta get to the top. <laughs> In a way, it was that simple of a bypass, right? Nah, nah. Surely they have it blocked. Like, it can't be that easy. Surely it's gotta be blocked at the top, right? Uh, no, it ain't. <laughs> but wait, there's gotta be a wall uh, out here, right? There's gotta be a door out there. No. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna run right into his tent. Wait a minute. We gotta be careful here, though. They could be here. Oh my goodness. There is gear, is gear? here. Yeah, oh. a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but. Gas mask. We got like an axe. This is. This is only one of many, though. Uh huh. Take the mask. We need that. Ooh. Look in here. PK. My god. It's a T5000. Oh, oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh, I'm seeing a whole lot of base building stuff, buddy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> These dudes have been doing some excursions into the uh, into the zone. <laughs> They've been doing something. After raiding what may have been the worst built base in the history of DayZ, we had a bit of a problem. We had full inventories, but no safe place to store all of our stuff. This was a good problem to have since usually I struggle to get base building materials, but nevertheless, we had to find a spot to build before we ended up dying and wasting all of this gear. Well, we are stacked now. I'm happy. Why do I feel like a storm's about to happen? Because it looks like a storm's about to happen? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we go trader, see like what we can sell, see if we can get a little starter up so we can store some of our stuff away. And we'll figure out where to build later. What the hell? I think that means we're in the toxic zone. Attention, enter. Yeah, we entered the reactor, maybe? And it says so it's radioactive. It's radioactive, I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying. Wow, terrible. It's starting. It's starting. Can we get in the bus? Nuclear storage, come here, run, no. run, 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 follow me, I'll get us inside. Oh, I think we're fucked, dude. No, 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 we still have, a, I think we still have time. No, I don't think we do. No! Get it, get under the fucking train! We'll be okay, we'll be okay, just sitting here. We're fucking dead, dude. Ugh, get me back in there. Oh. oh no. Oh, I'm awake. I didn't even lose health. Told you it would work. Was this, might have saved, this might have saved us. Uh, yeah. I guess we're technically indoors. Oh no, my gun. You didn't put it away, did you? I, did, I couldn't. No, where'd it go? I'm gonna take my gas mask off. I think we'll be alright. Oh, what in the hell is this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jump in. All right. Don't. <laughs> You're an idiot. Don't go down there and get stuck. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get on the main road. Total radiation exposure, 64. Seems a little high, doesn't it? Not great, not terrible. I don't know what a normal radiation level is. We were finding bases and even locked up cars, so there were clear signs of life, but yet we weren't running into anyone, which was strange. Next up, we made our way towards the black market trader to buy a storage before setting up our first base. Hopefully, we would see somebody soon. I like this. Yeah, neither do I, man. Neither do I. <laughs> Still looks like Dr. Eggman. I might get the pallet. I think the pallet will be better. What the? Вот молодец, живой пришел. Yeah, we we're not видеть. carrying that. All right, buddy, let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't know. We just need to get starter up somewhere. The mountains are far away. That's why we might need to get a starter up here until we get a car, like somewhere nearby. When we get the car, then we make main base. This is like a little compound right here. You see this to the right? It's kind of cool. You know what? This could be it, bud. Really could. 
I think it's only two portions of the wall we'd have to seal off if we wanted to secure it. Well, we could start off in here. Alrighty, what are we what are we thinking here? Should I place a door? Yeah. I have about forty percent health. Maybe that wasn't a good spot to build after all. this that is ridiculous truly every single one it turns out that you could vault right over all of the windows in our house making the door we placed completely useless boarding these windows up would take a while but that wasn't the only problem we would have the house we chose to live in didn't protect us from the elements at all and as you saw i took damage when the storm occurred and that could lead to eventually dying for these reasons we knew that we would have to move from here and find someplace a little bit more secure first thing in the morning. So we just logged out with all of our stuff and then the next day we went looking for a better spot. I don't know where the f we're moving to. We could go in one of these for all I care bro. Nah. So your house is right here and the wells right here too. Ah oh, perfect. Let's do this one right here. Got a nice frontal view into the village. Alrighty. Got some of this too, a little barbed wire. Oh. Wow, I just heard a shot. Oh, no fing way you did. At Rostock, yeah. Maybe we gotta go over there. Where's homie at? I don't know if I really wanna walk in there. You know how people are at. I'm in here. I really hope it came from in here. It wasn't like on the outside of the wall or something. But where the. Oh, you heard that? No? What? He's either inside or he's outside the wall. I just heard him shoot again. Which direction? Uh, Compass turn on, southwest, 196. But he's right. straight in front, along this wall. He may be down the, yeah, down this end of the compound. Oh! Oh! Where is he? At the, all the way at the end. Oh, he's peeking me. He just peeked me, he's at the corner. He's f***ing rolling. <laughs> that, that dude's kitted, by the way. That dude is kitted. Going up the tower. How the f did he see me? Is there a third person on? There's third person. That's why. What the f since when? I don't know. <laughs> that's why he he's literally third personing us. That's why he's trying to pre-fire, bro. Oh no. Oh man. This is a tough push right here, bud. We literally can't push this without third person. Did you shoot? Yeah, he's at that fucking thing. Let's put the peak. Left side. I don't know if that's the same guy. I think I killed him. Yeah, you did. I shot him in the toe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the same guy. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, now that I know I can do that, let me just press V. Careful, it might not be the same guy. I didn't see him. I only saw his boots. Yeah, it must have been him. He was in a clan called Death Stalkers. Scary. Oh. There's another one? Dead. He's dead. Is there more shooting? I killed him. I think that's it. Good job, man. Dude's got a squad wipe, bro. That was good. Dude's got a whole ass exo suit on. This dude is geared. This dude's kitted too. How do you lose with third person? Literally. I, I walked up with first person on, bro. I got their armor. I got all their armor and shit, so we got kits to spare now. It's really what we need. Well, our first encounter was a pretty close call, but we came out on top and got out of there with a few new gear sets. The area we fought in was called Rostock. It seemed to be pretty busy and it was right by our base, so it wasn't long after we deposited our gear that we heard some more shots back there and went to investigate again. The hell's this fog? The way I heard those shots, it sounded like he was like shooting a zombie, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, right in front, right in front. Oh, what oh. the f 
I'm dead. What? This dude walked right past me, bro. Ain't <laughs> no way. Traded three. Well, he thought that was you, Bizarre. I mean, guess not. I thought it was you too. I literally had no fucking clue. Is that part of the wall or is that a, their fucking helicopter? What, right there? That's a heli, dog. That's like the biggest heli I've ever seen, though. Oh, the holy stairs, fuck. Right? Now I see it. That is literally the biggest helicopter I've ever seen. That's gotta be static. Hey, yo, bro, I'm going to base. I'm going to get a sniper. I'll be right back. Speaking of big helicopters, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is one of the most comprehensive vehicle combat games ever made, where you can play with more than 2,000 planes, tanks, helicopters, and ships in dynamic, combined armed battles. Every vehicle in the game is insanely detailed and realistically modeled to offer a highly immersive combat experience, and to top it off, the game is available on PC, Xbox Series X, PS5, and the previous console generations. War Thunder has a level of customization for vehicles that very few games have. You can apply hundreds of camos, historical markings, and equipment to make your weapon of war really stand out. In addition to this, the collection of vehicles in War Thunder span well over 100 years of development from the 1920s to the present day, so you can definitely find something that suits your taste. The most impressive thing about this game has got to be the sheer scale of the game with battles taking place on land, sea, and in the air simultaneously, creating a new dynamic to the action. Download War Thunder on PC, Xbox, or PlayStation using my link in the description below and you can get a large free bonus pack including a premium account with multiple premium vehicles, boosters, and a lot more. Thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the story. One bullet in a dream, bud. You know? I hear- It's starting up, dude. Oh no, no, yeah it is. I see his feet. He's right behind it. You stay back. I'll push up with them 14. See if I get lucky. Oh, I got a key. I got one bullet. I see a guy running in the field over there. Yeah, I see him. He's going right. Oh, he's in front of the heli now? He's going to the back? I think. Is he standing still? Yeah, he's aiming at you. He's aiming at you. Oh, he's shooting. Yeah. Should I kill him? Mm, I can kill him. Hold up. Okay. Oh, I had to kill him. Yeah, so. good, good shot. So, okay. A lot of bullets now, though. Someone else is shooting. Probably get the alley. This alley's starting back up. I don't have a oh, sniper. Oh, no, man. Start shooting at it. Just start shooting at it. I don't have Stam, bro. No way. I don't have Stam. And it's gone. Love that. I think I see another guy. Yeah, over there. Mark him. Like trying, he's over there. Running towards dude's dead body. I see him. No, I don't. He in a tower or something? No, 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 no. He's right there. Right in the bushes. He's knocked out. Oh, I see that. Someone else is shooting. Dude woke up, man. He's running away. He's dead. Nice. Yeah, someone else is shooting. I don't know where. Oh, you hear oh. that now? I hear that. See this guy? Oh, I don't see shit. Oh, mid, apparently. One's close. One's in this tower. He's right on this tower, corner tower. Yeah, there's a guy at this rock. I love 3P. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Ah, uh, hit him. He hit him man. He's dead, he's dead. Guy on tower is uh, still yeah. stuck. Hit him, hit him again, hit him again. He's moving. Oh, he just jumped. Make his server up, bro. These dudes are. He's dead. 
The fighting was tough, but in the end we managed to get a lot more sellables, which is exactly what we needed to buy a car. This map was so large that it would take us an hour to walk anywhere, but with a vehicle, we would be able to quickly explore new areas and find even better gear. So we made our way towards the trader to see what kind of car we could afford. Mm-hmm. I'm puking from the cold, I guess. You're puking blood. Wait, was that blood? I am puking blood. What the fuck? Yeah, it looked awfully dark. Uh, how come my blood dropped even more? It could be acute radiation sickness. Why am I sick? Oh, vehicle's right here. Look, vehicle's right here. Bro, it's 50k for the cheapest car. I'm thinking this one for 60k will be nice. It's like a little... It's like an SUV. Apparently I'm throwing it? Yeah, go. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Wait, that's crazy. Wow. Thank God we don't gotta walk no more. On the map, we noticed that out east there seemed to be some mountains, but we never had any way of reaching them until now, so we headed in that direction to see what was over there. Oh, wow. Wow. Where am I going? You wanna go to the peak? The one in front of us? Yeah. Is this the tallest peak in the game? It very well may be. Damn, living on top of here, living on top of the world. I see Electro from here. This is it, man. I can already see the rust compound. Got the peak downs, the external walls. We're in the snow biome too, so we can't get grubbed by nakeds. This is perfect. It's a little quiet. A little too quiet. That's a lot of zombies, dude. Are we clearing these by car? Ah, uh, run! The fuck? <laughs> Is that all of them? Oh, wow, that was a lot of zombies. Let's see if anything spawned. A lot of food. We need that. Yeah, we came out with some decent stuff. I'm guessing that's just like the best gear on this fucking map, really. Every single damn zombie's respawning. I thought I'd just run up the hill. I come to the right, I'm not seeing anything. Is this debug? Hello? To the right? Yeah, that's debug. No rolling to debug, because that's a fing. Ah! Uh, Stop! Don't fing. I'm off. trying! Stop the fing car, Johnny! What are you doing? I'm trying! Oh my god. Are you breaking? I was breaking the entire time! That was a little close, man. We almost lost it all. Why is debug a sheer fucking drop off the edge of the map? I don't know. The eastern mountain range was pretty nice, but when it came to gear, we didn't really find anything better than the stuff we were finding back near our base at Rostock. We figured the best gear could probably spawn inside radioactive zones, but we had no clue how these zones worked or what type of equipment would be needed to enter them. So to do a little research, we went for an airdrop landing in a nearby contaminated zone to see if we would be able to survive there. We're gonna die being in here? Only one way to find out, bud. <laughs> Alright. I guess we, uh... Park in this garage right there. Park in the garage? Yeah. Yeah, I'm radiated. Uh, maybe we go ahead and get back in the car. Huh, yep. Second, I, uh... Puked the second I got out. Yeah, I got sick the second I got out. I knew we should have stayed in the car. Yeah, if we didn't have to save zone, <laughs> we need to cure ourselves. <laughs> or just respawn, I guess. Yeah, let's say we probably got about a solid two minutes left. Alright. We respawned to fix our health, but one valuable thing we learned from this experiment was that if you stayed in the car, you wouldn't become radiated. So in theory, we could recruit someone to go into these valuable zones with us and have them step out, loot the airdrops, and then bring the gear back to us while we sat safely in our cars. We drove to the safe zone to find someone to help us out, but at the time, we forgot one important thing. We were on a Spanish-speaking server. Hola, como estas? Que tal? Hola, hola, hola. Como vas? Eh, por qué? Hop in, man. Get in the back. No hablo inglés. Eh, no hablo es español. Go over, the, go over the back door for him. Maybe then he'll uh, know what's going on. Let me take him out of the safe zone and murder him. 
No speak Spanish, I don't know. No entiendo. Eh, me no. Eh, ah. Uh, hey, open, open the door for him, Mario. Eh, mi amigo, eh, door. Eh, si. Come, come, come. Si, 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 si. Oh, no. How do you ask where to in that Spanish? So, donde eres? I think that's it. Soy de Colombia. Eh, colombiano. Eh, that's where he's from. <laughs> Everybody send him to that toxic zone to get the package for us. <laughs> where is it? It's back, all the way back to radar station. We'll send him in, he'll get the package and run out to us. That way we don't get radiated. Alright, uh, translate, we're gonna send you in on a special mission. Te enviaremos en una misión especial. ¿Cuál? Okay. Me llamo Andrés. Hey, eh, me llamo Mario. Does this make us bad people? Well, no, we didn't kill him. We're just... No, but uh, we're simply putting the noose around his neck, but we're not pushing him off intentionally. Exactly, that... Blowing a strong fan against him, hoping he falls. He is going to be rewarded for the short time he lives after entering the zone. I mean, ah, we're here. Dude's reading the message right now. It says, turn back, turn back. Ah. <laughs> uh, is it not here yet? It should be. Oh, I see smoke right there. Yeah, yeah, it's right behind us. It's to the right. Right behind this building. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh! Run! What the fuck? There's two, bro. Dude, what the fuck? Can we kill them with the car? Eh, es uno airdrop. Andre, go! <laughs> okay, drop him off. Andre, go, airdrop, go, go, go. Ayúdame. Oh, it's hitting us in the car. No fucking shot. This guy's not getting out, man. I'm about to get out. Andale, andale, andale. This fucking dude was no help. <laughs> Tell me it's worth at least. What is this? Tell it's me it's base worth. Building, dude. Oh my god. Gunpowder cards. Johnny, no! Oh! Andre, let's go! Another spider's coming! What the fuck? Go, Johnny, go! We're gonna fucking bleed out, man. I don't have room for any of this. Who cares? We don't even need our building shit. Alright, just, just get in the car, I man. I need the bandage. There just was a, a communication problem, I guess, because this dude was not trying to get out that car. I don't know. Maybe we just drop him back off at safe zone. Carry on. Give him a little bit of gear. Yeah. Well, I guess he, he completed the mission, I guess. Gracias, gracias. Dale. De nada. Oh! Oh. This dude's moving mad. Okay, wait one second. Go back in the car. Go back in the car. Don't fumble the bag. It's everything we own. I know, man. Do I just kill him? Ah, uh, he's a nice guy, man. Oh, he got a shotgun. Don't fucking try it, buddy. Hey, go in the car. Go in the auto. No, 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 no. Not in there. I'm gonna have to kill him, bro, because I'm gonna bleed out too at this point. Okay, uh, go over there. Go, go, go. Over there. Yes, go. Yes, yes, yes. I made him step back. Hopefully he doesn't try to get me down. Oh, he passed out. He passed out. He passed out. She's locked. I'm about to pass out and die. But, uh, she's locked. I was worried that Andres would try to make a play on me and take all of the gear after Dexter died, but it turned out that he was genuinely a cool dude and he never tried anything. We were able to get back and recover the car and bodies, but unfortunately we never ended up meeting him again. There were some setbacks here and there, but overall we were pretty well geared so far, and if we just put in a few more days of work, we could likely get some explosives and try to target the clans that we had been fighting at Rostock earlier on. 
But unfortunately, this never happened and everything came crumbling down. Basically what happened is that the server population ended up going from around 20 people to roughly 5 players or less, making it impossible for us to have any meaningful encounters or fights. To make matters worse, this was the only server hosting Pripyat at the time that had any players, so we couldn't simply switch servers and continue the adventure, so we just stopped here. So 7 months pass and now it's 2023, and then I take a look at the servers and notice that a new Pripyat server has launched, and this time around there were far more players on it. So Dexter and I got back on to finish what we started months ago. Stop, is this you? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> oh, what's up, what's up, man? Wanna go to f town? <laughs> I can take it there. Alright. You got him right where you want him. Hey there, little guy. Oh, he did it! Oh! Oh, oh I didn't shit, die! Run! This time around, we didn't waste too much time exploring. We had a lot to get done, so we ran straight to some military bases trying to get enough loot to buy a car. Oh, shit! Uh, a German Shepherd's attacking me! What? I'm running! I didn't know German Shepherd, buddy! Oh, there's two of them! Go, 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 get upstairs! Get up yeah, the nah. I'm not doing that. Oh, that's not going to do as much. Oh, oh, watch out, watch out! Oh! You better get away from that edge, buddy! No! Oh! I'm fine, I'm fine. I caught that, I caught the ledge. I'm flanking. Hold, Johnny! Oh, I'm gonna fucking die to hold, this hold, thing! Hold, 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 I'm here! Yeah, you got it. Oh my god. We're alive, we're alive. <laughs> yeah. There's another guy getting chased by fucking dogs. What the fuck is this? What? Nah, nah, I'm out of here. Wait, there's a guy! Help! Help! <laughs> Help! Over here! I just about to die to one. Help! Oh, they're going for him, Johnny! Oh, no, <laughs> they're going <laughs> Run! Oh, go, 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 go! I guess I'm limping. No, no, go, go. It's fine. I think we're okay. It took us some time, but we were able to eventually get to the trader, sell some stuff, and buy us a beginner car, and then we headed back out into the wild. I see a guy. Hey. Where? On the ping. I can't aim. I don't see your ping. No, he's dead. He's over there. Ah, good kill. Just basic shit. Nothing crazy. It's kind of garbage, honestly. Damn. Oh, this are Wait, I'm Superman. Oh my God, I thought <laughs> you were a goner. What the f just happened? <laughs> just, just see, how, you see how far I went? You launched like a hundred meters up in the air. I thought I was done for. I'd even say a word, yeah, I bro. Thought you were <laughs> oh my God, I see a giant from Skyrim. What? What is that? Is that an actual thing? I thought it was a rock. Oh, what the f yeah, nah. Oh, dead body right here. Oh! Wait a minute. What happened here? His name is my fault because you die. Look at me go. I'm playing Tarkov. <laughs> now, if you're playing Tarkov, some dude flying on a pogo stick is <laughs> come through the apartment and kill you. <laughs> what the hell? Stay low. Dude, I got my MVGs on. Turn oh! oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> that dude's flying, bro. <laughs> that dude's in his own planet. Yeah, let's see what he got for us. Oh, he's been looting. R700? Oh. Yeah. M110, this dude knows where the good loot is, bro. Just get up. Got some sellables for later. Those should give us good money, I hope. If you remember earlier on in this video, we made a visit to the mountains out east, and they were pretty nice, but we never ended up living over there. So this time around, we thought, why not go over there and set up a camp and just see how it is out there and how things will go. Oh, what the? Did you see that? Shit is what is going on? Get the tent up quick before the storm hits. Johnny, hurry! Hey yo! We're gonna die! Oh, we're coming in kind of fast. I don't see the tent, is it down? Yeah. It's invisible for me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Oh! Should oh, I minute, I lost HP. I'm logging, I'm logging! See, I didn't see the tent earlier, but I'm glad I did the job. I'm full HP, life is good. Okay, okay. God, that could have been bad. That'll do. Okay. It's kind of nice. Yeah, we got a little section back here. Probably just be an airfield kind of adventure. Yeah, go airfield. 
I see a guy. He's geared as f He's Where? at that uh, far barrack. I thought it was a zombie. Oh, he's geared as f He might be the Kawasaki dude. Is he in there? Uh, the, he's behind the barrack or he's going to the Kawasaki. I see the Kawasaki. Oh, he's going to be behind the barracks then. Oh, he's in it. He's at the Kawasaki. He's just running the barrack. I got dogs on me. He's in that last barrack. Okay. I think it is his car, dude. We got to murder him, Johnny. He might have that car key. I'm running. Hit him like five Ooh, times. No. No. He's, yeah, he's down the ground. Good shooting, bro. Does he have a key? He does have a key. Oh, it's his car. Oh, he's got two keys and an arm. Holy oh shit. Oh my God. What, what is no. going on? What? What's going on here? No, I don't know. Loot and scoot, my boy. Are we taking his car? It might be loaded, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Green car key. No. Huh. Ah, surely. He might have a car around here then. Yeah, we need to check around these woods. Yeah. Good point. Where would he have come from? Probably this end over here? Oh, I seen him literally at the Kawasaki. Is the first one I seen him at. Oh, yeah, right here. You ran right by it. Surely that's it. Oh, yeah, this is it. Yes, sir. Let's see what the treasure is. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. A Kavari and two arms? That ain't too okay. bad. Why don't you take this? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Get right. us out of here. Having a second car was huge and for now we would park it inside of our tent as a backup in case we ever broke our first one. But in the future we would be able to sell this at the trader for some good cash and upgrade to a better vehicle. Up to this point we had checked every single spot on the map except for the one most important area, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Last time around we never managed to enter because there was radiation but on the server it didn't seem to be much of an issue so we went down to check it out and see what we could find. That's got to be rated up there, bro. That's where the elephant's foot is, wherever they call it. You look like an elephant's foot. <laughs> Shots? Oh, I hear that. I'm going to check that out. Is that in the zone? Surely it is. Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah, they're fighting something. Yeah, they're fighting a bear. He's about to die. I see one standing right here. Should I kill him? Yeah, I kill him. <laughs> Sorry, I think I killed him. <laughs> Oh, they're in the they're in the key card. They did the key card. Where is that? Right here. Are they inside though? Yeah, yeah, one's inside. Oh, he's on top. You see him? No, no. What the fuck? Oh, it's a bear up there. Oh, I see him. Mark, if you see him. Oh my god, I'm getting beat. He is up there. I see him. Yeah. I hit him twice. I don't know if he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. It's probably more than one. Uh, somebody's running over there, I think. How many are there in there? Those monsters are chasing somebody going right. Should I help you or? I'm fine. Just watch right. Oh, this is red key too, dude. Yeah, it's going to be big. What the hell? I think they'll die. Oh! oh. I might be f here, bro. Oh, I can't even see it. All right, let's push this. Be a dude in here. Probably is, man. Upstairs, maybe. They loot this fully? No. It's full still. That's got random bullshit. I'm so dead here. I feel like. Uh, what do we have? His name is Nikita. CR five fifty Savannah. Mm -hmm. Gross. Uh, he had an M110. Gross. Heli? I hear that. Kind of coming to us. Oh, yeah. I see it. In fact, it's coming right over us. And that it is. I don't think I was going to hit that. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they got out of the thing. I don't know, but I know it's usually stacked on here. You get like boxes of nails, drugs, like it's really good. Ain't no way the one dude ran. Took it, yeah. I see him, right where, there. Where? He's right there, I'm on my mark. He's running right. It's a, a guy just ran in right, like where I'm marked. Oh yeah, I see him. He's like, got like nothing. Well, I mean, that's the only guy, I don't know. Could that be him? Maybe. I think he's stashed and he's coming back. I 
This dude, <laughs> dude ain't got nothing. He had to have stashed. Or he came back. Like, he respawned, came back. I don't know. I saw where he came from, so let's just trace it back out and check the woods. Alright. We had cut this group running the red key card, which is among the best on the map, but one of them escaped with all of the loot. And although we checked the forests around us, we never caught the guy who took everything. Either way, we still had a bunch of higher tier guns on us, and we continued to search the power plant for more supplies and other survivors. See a guy? You see a guy? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, way down there. Where is he? 400 meters down, he just ran behind this factory. Well, I got an AX-50 for him. Yeah, well, he's he's behind the massive complex now, but just come to my angle. Stand still, buddy, and I'll kill him. I can't see. Oh my god, I can't see. I think he's standing still, but it's so dark, I can't see. Should I shoot he's him? standing still. I can shoot him. I'll, I'll kill him. You're good, I'm not gonna kill him. Yep, he's dead. That was one of them. Kill him, I think. I don't know. You can watch, I'll loot. Yeah, I'm watching. Go for it. Actually, I don't even have a room. Oh my god, he's f***ing loaded. Look at that kid's bag. No shot. Well, what is he doing? Oh, he's the container. He's a car key, too. Oh, wait a minute. You f totaled his vest, though. Uh, okay, okay. We need a... I need to make room. I'm dropping guns, bro. Yeah, I gotta drop shit. I really wish we came to the power plant long before because the gear we were finding over here was far better than anything else on the map. We wanted to continue ambushing people in this zone, but the problem we had was that our base was extremely far away. So with this in mind, we came up with a plan to build our final compound somewhere over here out west nearby the power plant. That way we could get in and out quickly and get more gear. Now I'm gonna just get the uh, UAS. It's done. Ready? Oh yeah. Things running on steam. <laughs> Dude, this car is really nice. Look at the interior. I guess it's not a base. Yeah. But if we could live in there, that's a nice spot on the river. Not too shabby. Uh, is this our new home? I'm stuck in the car. Oh. Dude, this is fantastic. How's it look, man? I'm stuck in the car and I can't sit back down. This is actually perfect. I'm not even lying. Let's go. It's a big one bedroom house. Uh-huh. Views of every direction. Uh-huh. Good size windows. That's perfect. This one's good. Let me see this one. Uh, you know, that's okay. Got a place to camp out for the night, cook some sausages and food. <laughs> why, why you gotta cook sausages, man? It's uh, apocalyptic food, man. Why you gotta make it weird? Sausage? Do you know this right here? This is my day Z. And skidoosh. Ooh. See, everybody else is out here. They're building bases. We're out here building a home. I would even go as far as to say the other people out there, they're surviving, but us, we're actually living. Yeah. Beautiful. Like a glove. So we got the little garage. The garage. Got a better car. That's a good day's work. We got a better base. You got a better base. Still got no hose, though. Better car, debatable. You don't have any hose. That's fucked up. After finishing the inside of the base, the next step was to make an external compound. But to do so, we were going to need more supplies from the traders, so I headed down there in the car to do a cell run and get some more stuff. A car is driving into me. Ah. Uh, I'm dead. I'm so dead here. Ah. Uh, not like this. I don't have a gun. Oh god. What the fuck happened? Wait a minute. Did I kill them both? Yeah. My god. I just almost got caught lacking, bro. I didn't have a gun in my hand. I'm coming. I'm coming. That got a nice car. I said I was ready to give up. I was ready to. I, I was, I was gonna about to throw in the towel. But I got stuff in the car. Damn. I should not have survived that. I'm not gonna lie to you. But the story took a turn. This dude is collecting shrooms. You can't make this up. These can't be real people. <laughs> He's a bag full of mushrooms. 
Now that we had a truck off of these guys, we made the decision to sell it along with our Jeep and use the funds to upgrade cars to something that would get us around the map much faster. Hey look, there's a picture of you here in the back window. Dude! Look at the iPod uh, in the infotainment system. We can connect our iPod there. Jeez, got a CD player, but no CD slot. Connect our telephones. And skadoosh. That right there. That's kind of nice. They're pretty big too, so it's not going to cost us a whole lot. And then over here, we basically would just want to seal this side off somehow. Hello. You friendly? Hell yeah. What's up, brother? Do you live around here? Oh. Hell yeah. Do we live in the tower? Yeah, man. Are we neighbors? Yeah, we are. I live in the in the gray warehouse right over there. Oh, nice. What's your name, buddy? Uh, name's Rick. Rick Denkman. What? My name's Mario. That's my cousin right here. Yeah! <laughs> Let's farm some weed, boys! <laughs> Where do you get weed seeds, bro? I'll start a yeah, weed farm. Yeah, that's the farm I'm trying to do. And I'm guessing it's everyone down. Yep. It's kind of nice, bro. That would look better if it was even. No, 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 it's good. You did good, man. Don't always bring yourself down. Gonna build some walls now? Yeah. I'm gonna grow here. Make a little farm. A nice little farm to where we can press to eat and stuff. Damn, this is fancy, dude. Nice. Thanks, man. We're trying our best. You know, we're trying to make a self-sufficient settlement out here. We can grow food, maybe some weed. Have some cars. Something nice. Guys, I'm gonna tidy up that base and I'm gonna log off because it's been a long day. Alright, brother. Have a good one. Will do, will do. Stay safe See you next there. See you next time, boys. Later. You too. Looking good, eh? And it's perfect because we can walk up to this platform now. This is... Do not go on this platform, okay? Fall right through it. Yeah, yeah. Do not go up there. Holy. We need to get some greenhouses. I'm thinking a pool maybe in one of these corners. Some beach chairs make it look nice. What? Need a pool? Gotta live at the fucking ocean. Yeah, but it's radiated. I don't want to risk swimming in that like little river out there. It had taken some time, but the compound was finally complete. Now we just had to add the finishing touches. It had been a while since we last went into the Chernobyl power plant, so we went over there to see if anybody else was looting the zone. Ah, yes. Shitty Stafu scope. I got an arm. I'm getting repeaters over here. Very, <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it's a guy, it's a guy, it's a guy! Right, come here. I think he's so low. He's running in the zone right now. Uh, I want to see him. Yep, he's in that barrack. He's got a green mountain bag on with a sledgehammer on his back. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's looking at us, I think. Ah, man, I was just about to uh, do him in, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Big uh, hunting knife type of guy. You can take his vest and... Uh... Helmet. Oh, you got custom clothing, you know, I'll take that. I had enough, I'm done. Oh, yeah. Purple box. Purple things right here. Heard that? I did hear that. Is that in the zone, though? I hope. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be. That's like a red key card, right? Kinda sounds like it's over there, yeah. So, like, we could go up there and try to get on that part right there. Ooh, oh, I just got shot I at. I think they're up there. Yeah, they are, they are. They barely missed my ass. I do not see him. Is there not a safer spot we can run to? No, what if we run so. for that, like right there, that truck? You think that would be better? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, they're behind us! They're behind us! They're, they're at this fucking pipe right here. But somebody is up there. I hit one, one dead. Yeah, yeah. Other one's right. Other one's right here. Somebody is up there, though. Yeah, I'm getting shot at right now. Shot at one of us. What? Well, shot through this kid. Where's this guy? Dead. Okay. Is it just two? That's all I've seen, yeah. This kid's gotta be up in this fucking wall. He is. He's up there. He's up there. About to fucking flank around and go to the back of the building. Oh! Where the fuck is that from? Same spot. 
Let me see if it peeks you right now. Hold up. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Where? Should be dead. No, he's not dead. Right there. I'm on mark. I see him. Two of them. Oh my god, I'm not loaded. Oh. Why is he pre firing me? Kill one. I think I see him. Hold up. I don't know if I killed him. Yeah, you did. So there's two at least. I'm most of the wall now. Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna try to spot for you. The dude I killed, I'm pretty sure he has a suppressed 50. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> homie, homie is geared. That's what I like to see. What do we got? SA58 on this guy. This guy had an AX50 got that because he's max for it. Car keys. Oh, a lot of car keys on him. Oh. Yeah. Still gotta go loot those other guys. I know. <laughs> Guess we should get on that, eh? Yeah. Uh, these dudes were just looting about, bro. They didn't have nothing crazy on them. In fact, they didn't really have much at all. A nice, beautiful home. Alright, guys. The base compound is finally finished. We've been working inside. And let me take you in there and show you what we're cooking. So, welcome to our compound. In here... We can start off with the left. This is where you use the bathroom if you need to. That's what this room is really dedicated for, honestly. It's just a little outhouse. So you, we could vomit in here if we want to. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And on the right, we have our food area. We're growing tomatoes right now. Got a little water barrel. Got a nice little fire pit here. We don't have chairs for it at the moment, but we'll get those later on. And here is just a storage room. We don't really have any purpose for this at the moment. So I don't know what I'm going to end up putting in there. Get the solar panel here, of course, because we got to live off the land. You know, we got to be self-sufficient. Come back here. We have a little Viking hut. This thing has a bunch of storage in it. We have our car tent from earlier with the Humvee in there. Got barrels. She's a trusty vehicle. Another car over here. And here we just have this gazebo, basically, and a little sundial in the middle. Nothing too crazy. Also, this side, you can look up and take a look around the surrounding area. Back here, we have a little volleyball net, and that's pretty much it. Now, the best part about this base is that the main base is up there, and it just has really good views of the entire river. Now, unfortunately, there are no boats here, so we couldn't really utilize the river much, but that would have been nice. But uh, yeah, and our neighbor's base is down that way. We met him the other day. His name's Ricky. I think he has a guy living in there with him. Pretty cool. Anyway, in here you just have staircases. We have uh, some windows here that can be opened if we want to. Got the nice little Viking lamp here just to light up the stairs as well. It's a nice little touch for when it gets dark. And you come on in and this is the main room. We put a little lamp here. We got the couch. We got the crafting table here. We got Johnny sitting on the couch. Don't know what he's doing. Uh, a little Viking table. You're ugly, man. Uh, a little bookshelf, too. <laughs> and like I said, look at the views. It's just, it's a really nice sight. I mean, you can just see everything going on around you. And this area is pretty quiet, except for like the zombies and monsters out there. But overall, it's not too bad. And here is basically the main bedroom and the final loot room. You can see we got a bunch of these four-door military lockers. I like these the most because you can put a bag in them to increase the storage and you can put a bunch of gun slots in there. So overall, I think it's the best storage. So we just lined those up on the walls. Back here, we have a little like eating area, I guess. You have a little fridge, table, chair, more lighting, some gun racks. And these are pretty much full. I mean, you can see we just have a bunch of guns we have to sell when we get the chance. We sold a few already though. This corner, it's just kind of like a little workbench area. A little bed here, a carpet hanging there. And we have another lamp here. The light's not very strong, unfortunately, on that one. But, you know, it's just a nice little base. It wasn't anything crazy. It doesn't have to be an elaborate base with 50 gates or anything. You just need something nice and simple, and this is what it is. But yeah, that's basically kind of the goal on this adventure. We started off, we had some troubles trying to find a spot to live. We moved a lot, and now we just finally have something we can call home in a pretty crazy apocalyptic uh, map. It just feels good. 
Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it. If you made it to the end here, thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next adventure. Thank you so much for all the support. Once again, thanks to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to check out the link below to get a massive free bonus pack, including a premium account and premium vehicles, and also a nice boost to help you get started.